What did the big flower say to the little flower? What's up, bud? Why was the gardener so embarrassed? He wet his plants. Why are trees always so popular? They really know how to branch out. Hi everybody, I'm Pastor John O. Adams. This is Kids Corner, and stay tuned to hear why we're, we're hearing so many plant jokes today. Welcome back. I'm Pastor John O. Adams, and this is Kids Corner from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, where each week we hear a story uh, about God's love for us and, and for all people. And, and this week, we're, we're outside at, on the, the preschool playground, um, and, and you know it was just a month or two ago that, that I was out here and it was snowing, but it, it's kind of warm. It, it's definitely sunny and, and so i i thought i'd i'd soak up the sun today as we hear a story that that has a little bit to do with with sun and, and outside uh so our our story today comes out of the the gospel of john um and, and it's a a story that that we're hearing in part from the spark story bible some people wanted to see jesus the disciples showed these people where Jesus was teaching. When a seed is planted in the ground, it dies, so a new plant can grow with many more seeds on it, Jesus said. Why was Jesus talking about seeds? He explained, it's time for God's promise to come true. I will die and come alive again. Many people will serve and follow me. The people asked Jesus how they could serve him. Follow me, said Jesus. I will show you how to help and care for others. Just then, a voice as loud as thunder said, It's time for me to keep my promise. Jesus told the people it was God speaking. God says it's time to follow me. After Jesus finished teaching, some people began serving and helping others. They were following Jesus. So, like I said, a, a few months ago, just not that long ago, I, I was out here for, for Kids Corner and, and there were a couple inches of snow on the ground and, and it was snowing and, and it was cold, but today it, it's sunny and, and it's kind of warm um, because earlier this week, over the weekend, it was the first day of spring. And, and in the, the next few weeks, we're, we're going to start seeing a lot of green. You know, the grass behind me already looks a little bit better than it, than it did a, a few weeks ago. And, and it's going to start sprouting up even more. You're going to start to see flowers and, and plant plants growing in, in people's flower beds, uh, in, in the, the flower beds here around the church, and, and in, in all sorts of, of gardens and, and things like that. Spring is a, a really cool time. Um, but, you know, how does a, a flower or a flower grow? It, it's kind of a, an interesting thing. Flowers start as seeds. You know, little black or, or brown things that, that don't look uh, like very much. And, and eventually, you, you plant them in the ground. You, you dig a hole and, and put the seeds down underneath the dirt and cover it up with dirt and, and you water it and, and over time it it starts sprouting up. It, it might just look like a, a little bit of green at first but, but it grows more and more and more until eventually that little tiny seed can be a great big flower. Something like a, a sunflower that, that's even taller than, than I am. And, and it'll have tons of seeds that eventually will fall off and, and can help more plants grow. That's, that's what Jesus is talking about in, in this story. That, that seeds 
in order to help a plant grow, they, they have to die. They, they have to get buried under the ground in, in order for, for something new to, to come around. Um, and, and Jesus isn't just talking uh, about flowers. He's, he's talking about himself. He, he says that, that he's going to die. And, and because he dies, new things can, can grow and, and, and become better, just like he was raised from the, the dead for us. And that, that was a sign of how much God loved us, Jesus dying and raising from the dead on Easter. And that's what we celebrate. Um, and in the story, Jesus says it, it's not just uh, about growing and becoming better. It, it's about knowing how to, to love and serve God. And so Jesus tells the, the people that, that you need to, to serve and, and follow me. You, you need to do the things that, that I, I told you to do. And we, we know all about that because we talk about that on Kids' Corner all the time. Jesus wants us to, to love other people. Jesus wants us to, to be kind. Jesus wants us to, to take care of, of God's creation and, and nature all around us. Jesus wants us to, to always know how much God loves us. Um, and, and so we're, we're getting close to the, the end uh, of the season called Lent, the, the season that, that's supposed to get us ready for Easter. This coming weekend, we'll, we'll celebrate Palm or, or Passion Sunday. It, it can be called either of those. Um, and, and that's the beginning uh, of the story uh, of Easter. It, it's a story that, that we hear all throughout the week in, in different parts. It, it's cut up in chunks, kind of like a, a TV show has different episodes. We hear a little bit more each part of the, the week until finally uh, on Easter, we, we hear the good news that, that Jesus has risen from the dead. And we, we don't ever have to be afraid uh, of death because of that. Just like the seed doesn't have to be afraid to go into the ground because it's going to bring new life, new growth. So keep a lookout uh, for, for flowers. Keep a lookout for grass starting to get greener. It, it's going to be happening. Leaves on trees and all sorts of cool stuff like that is going to be all over the place in, in these next couple weeks. So. Don't forget this coming Saturday at the church at, at 4.30 p.m. Uh, on March 27th. Uh, at, we'll have an Easter egg hunt here at the, the church. You'll, you'll get to hear a, a cool story uh, about Easter, and, and then we'll set you loose to, to find some eggs. And, and everyone's going to get to take home a, a treat bag with, with uh, lots of good candy and other fun snacks and, and stuff. And we'll, we'll have prizes for, for who finds the most eggs or, or who finds really well-hidden eggs. Uh, it's going to be really cool, and I, I hope to see lots of our, our friends here. There's more information about that on our, our Facebook page or, or on our, our website, so check it out. That's all I, I have for you guys today. I'm Pastor John O. Adams. This is Kids Corner. Uh, have a, a great week, and, and always remember the most important lesson of all, God loves you. Bye, guys.